For now, our biggest concern is for the affected taxpayers to make sure they are protected against fraud in the future. We have marked the accounts of the 200,000 taxpayers whose accounts were attacked by outsiders to prevent someone else from filing a tax return in their name, both now and in 2016. Letters have already gone out to the approximately 100,000 taxpayers whose tax information was successfully obtained by unauthorized third parties. We are offering credit monitoring at our expense to this group of taxpayers. We're also giving them the opportunity to obtain an Identity Protection Personal Identification Number, or IP PIN as it's known. This will further safeguard their IRS accounts. We're also in the process of writing to the 100,000 taxpayers whose accounts were not accessed to let them know that third parties appear to have gained access from outside the IRS to personal information such as their social security numbers and other information. We want them to be able to take steps to safeguard that data. The Get Transcript application has also been taken down while we review options to make it more secure without rendering it inaccessible to legitimate taxpayers. Over the past few years, almost 2,000 individuals were convicted in connection with refund fraud related to identity theft. Additionally, as our processing filters have improved, we have also been able to stop more suspicious returns at the door. This past filing season, our fraud filters stopped almost 3 million suspicious returns before processing, an increase of over 700,000 from the year before. But the criminals continue to become more sophisticated and creative. For that reason, as the chairman noted, we recently held a sit-down meeting with the leaders of the tax software and payroll industries and state tax administrators. We all agreed to build on our cooperative efforts of the past and find new ways to leverage this public-private partnership to help battle identity theft. In terms of the uh, suggestions made about improvements we could make, uh, <clears throat> none of the improvement, most of and virtually all of the reports we've had recently have appropriately looked at our security with regard to our basic database. Those reports and those recommendations did not deal with the e-authentication e process for this website. Uh, the problem with the e authentication process for the website is what was a perfectly good security mechanism that was used by private sector financial institutions and others, as the Inspector General says, is being overtaken by events. 